Hi everyone, Jason from Makera here with another Makera Cam tutorial, and in this one we're talking about our paths. Now, as you can see in other videos, there are many different types of paths that you can create in Makera Cam, which will allow you to actually manufacture your design files through subtractive manufacturing or laser engraving methods using your desktop CNC machines like the Carvera and Carvera Air. What we're looking at in this video is how to actually edit, manipulate, and export our paths. So I've created several paths here, a drilling operation, pocket, and contour processing, and we can see them all in the functions panel underneath the paths tree. If I want, I can hide different paths so I can see just individual ones. I can also, of course, hide my design file so that all I can see are my paths. But what I can't do is click on my paths. If I wanna edit a path, let's say, for example, switch the bit or change how the path is being created, I need to right click or double click on a path and then click edit. This will allow you to go in and adjust your parameters, adjust your bits. If I wanted to say, for example, change the bit that I'm using, I could then select my graphic and then recalculate the path and that will now be updated. I can also change the order of the paths because this is the order that they would all be performed if they were exported together. For example, maybe I want the pocket to happen before the drill and I can reorganize them. And in addition to having the type of path, we can also see the tool or tools used for each path that corresponds to the tool number set when we actually create the path itself. If a design file is updated, let's say, for example, I actually move my design file on my stock where I transform it and I move it a little bit. Maybe I also change the size. Perhaps I make this slightly smaller. Notice that the path lines did not change. And that's because these paths are created based on the old design file and they will not automatically update. To update these paths, I need to go back into the paths, make sure that the aspect of my design I want to edit is still selected and recalculate. Now we can see that the path has now moved and followed this design. And I would have to do this for all of the other aspects of my project as well by going back in and recalculating the path for the paths to then be updated. Once you've created your paths and your paths are in the correct order that you'd like and you wanna export them, you can right click path to click either save all. If you'd like to save all the toolpaths at the same time, and you'll notice that all toolpaths are selected. You can also right click on just an individual path and click export, but you'll note that both options brings you to the same window as does clicking path export. Here, I can choose to select just one or all of my paths and export these as a G-code file, which can then be brought into the Carvera controller app to actually manufacture your paths with your desktop CNC machine. It's also important to note that these paths and the design files are all based on this work coordinate system. If I were to add a new work coordinate system to say, for example, machine on the back of my stock, the paths previously created will not be brought over, but new paths can now be created based on this new work coordinate system.